guys, Christine here. I am back and this time we are doing the May 2019 Side Street Design Studio Monthly Prompt Challenge. Still working on that name. We are five months in and if you guys are watching this on May 11th, it happens to be my birthday. So this is a birthday video we'll be doing. So for this month, the prompts are to use a Dina Wakely stencil, use two colored in stamped images, splatter paint on page, add a quote, add torn ephemera, and the alternate prompts are use a personal photo and work in a journal. So to start out with, I have the new white 6x6 Dina Wakely journal. I am going to work in that and I have some Dina Wakely paints. I'm going to go ahead and I just want to start by adding just a light wash to the background. I have my jelly plate off to the side to kind of use as a little palette. I think I'm going to... Just going to water down some of the buff just to kind of get a little color going on the, the back here without it blending too much. just so it's not a totally white page we're starting out on. All right, so that gives us a nice background to begin with. I just want to go ahead and make sure that's dry. Okay, so we're working in the journal and the first prompt is to use a Dina Wakely stencil. So this is the stencil I have chosen. I think it's called X's, but I'll be sure to list it below. And to use this stencil, I want to go ahead and work with either some peacock lime or magenta. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use the lime first it's her line I just got some new colors because there was a sale online earlier this week so I just want to go ahead and just kind of get some of that green going on here I have been doing a lot with my jelly plates but I thought just getting the color down like this would work And the one thing is if you're using your stenciling brushes with this paper, it does tear it up just a little bit. Let's get some going in the middle for consistency because I'm doing a dual page spread. So I hope everyone's been having a good spring so far. The weather is getting warmer here in Florida. Our humidity is starting to pick up. It's definitely the time of year to hit the, the water and you'll see a lot of people mainly hanging out in the mornings or evenings outside. We become night owls. Let's see. I want to use it all up so nothing goes to waste. So if you guys have been following along and doing the prompts throughout the year, be sure to give me some feedback in the Facebook group of how you're liking it. For those of you who are, if you've just stumbled on this video for the first time, there is a group on Facebook called the Side Street Design Studio. It's where the second Saturday of every month, I release the prompt for everyone to work on. Okay, so that's the green done. And maybe I will go ahead and do some of the magenta while I have it out. Why not? Okay, I'm gonna use the same stencil again. Get a different brush here, a little softer if I can find one that's, there we go. And I'm going to do a wash right over the center. And in a little bit you'll see why I chose these colors and this particular stencil to use. Put this down here. Oops. 
sorry if I came out of video a little bit, guys. I'm all frame. I really love this new journal. I love how thick the paper is and the size. You know, I like to do double page spreads. And in the bigger journals, it feels like it's going to take forever to do double pages. And in this one, it's just super quick. And maybe I will add just a little bit right in here. Just to get our threes, even though I, I think I said I was only going to do two. All right, guys. So I have used a Dina Wakely stencil. I've used two of them. I want to clean that up real quick. Okay. Working in a journal, two stencils, splatter paint on the page. Now, to do the splattering, I want to use, well before I do that, I want to get this dry a little bit. And my mind just had a total game change. So let me see here. Okay. Yes, so, one of the prompts is to add torn ephemera. So I want to go ahead and do that now so I get some paint on top of it. And this is some of the Dina Wakely collage paper. If you haven't played with this, it's really, really fun to use. So I just want to get some strips going here. And I find that her collage of uh, Collage tissue, of course, works best with her specific gel medium. When I try to use others, they just they just don't go as transparent as you want them to. And you got to make sure you really get a good layer of the medium down before you get your tissue down if you really want to help it become transparent and into the page. And sometimes I get my finger in there just to help really smooth it out. Just like that. So there's one piece, and I like how the stripes look, so I'm going to keep going that way with my ephemera. Just like that. I go a little crazy with this because I'm addicted to it now and I love it. <laughs> and she does have her own um, like clear sheets you can get in a package. They come with some of the printed ones, but then you can put your own stamps that you love on it and they're just, they're just really awesome. All right, let's get some more bits here. Continue this on this side. Got my hearts upside down. So I am turning 36 this year, guys, and I don't know why 35 was easy, 36 has me a little nervous. <laughs> I don't know why, though. So I've also been on a kick lately with uh, Dina Weekly and Diane Reevely products ever since I went to a retreat with them the end of March and I learned how to use some of their stuff even more. Um, in new ways, new inspired techniques. I've just been creating like crazy and I'm hoping that soon I'll have one or two uh, journals halfway completed or pretty full that I can maybe start doing some journal flip throughs for you guys because I've actually been motivated to like finish some of the journals I've started. All right, so there we go. We have our tissue paper down to act as our ephemera. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I get this dry and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I've used Adina Wakely stencil. I've added torn ephemera. I've worked in the journal. I need to now add, use two colored in stamped images. And this is where my colors came from. I had been playing um, with some uh, Diane Reevely, the Dilutions paints, and I'd been doing some pinks and turquoises and then I was using some Dina stamps on those. So these are my Dina stamps on some stenciled backgrounds. And this stencil I used here is the same, some of the stencil I've used here. 
So these are my stamped backgrounds I want to add. And I think before I add those though, I need to do the splattering because if I don't, I'm going to get it all over my photos. So I also have this I want to do something with. I think I might do something with that after the splatter. We will see. Okay, so for the splatter, I'm going to use the acrylic paint in Peacock. And I need my... I didn't have one of my round brushes. I thought I had a round brush. Okay, let's see how big of a mess I can make. And I love these colors. They feel very like neon to me, which I think looks really good on this the buff background. There we go. I'm sure I'm going to have this all over my glasses. The cats will probably end up with splatter on them. That's just how it goes around here. When you're playing in the studio, you never know what's going to happen. All right. I can already feel it all over my face. <laughs> Best to keep my mouth shut while I'm splattering. Okay, splatter's done. I'm gonna clean up, dry off, and be right back. All right guys, I am back and this page is dry for the most part. I do want to go ahead and just take a little black ink because I wanna get a little bit more of the black in here. And I'm going to take the little kitty face and I want to try to add a couple, just bring the cat into the page a bit and you'll see why. I hope this works the way I want it to. So there's one kitty, two, and this too is a Dina Wakely mask stencil. It comes with the stencil and the mask, which is really fun for jelly printing. And being a cat mom, when I saw she had this one, of course I had to get it. <laughs> There's cat number two, and I'm not going to put one on this page, and you will see why. So now, I'm going to go ahead and get these glued down. And to do that, I'm going to use my ultra thick gel medium by Dina. it's heavy duty it really will make this hard paper stay so there's one and I'm really globbing it on so that when it dries it stays really well there's two and now I'm going to add my personal photo. That I'm hoping I'm not getting paint all over the front of right now. But we'll see. You may hear Holly in the background because I shut the studio door and she does not like that. There is my personal photo. And now you know why 
I wanted to use the kitty cats. Because that is my chappy. There we go. All right. So, so far I've used the Dina Wakely stencil. I've used two colored in stamped images. I splattered paint on the page. I added torn ephemera. I used a personal photo. I'm working in the journal. And lastly, I'm to add a quote. And for that, I was not sure what I wanted to be to use yet. So I'm going to go through some of the, the Dina Wakely collage and try to see what quote I want to use. And I think I like the one that says don't be tamed with the cats on the page. I just want to see, I don't know. My only concern is when I collage this down, if I'm going to lose too much of the copy into the black, but we will see. And for this, I'm switching back to the soft gel medium because you don't need a lot. I'm just gonna wipe it across with my finger. And here we go. Let's hope that it doesn't totally, nope, you can still see it. Whoops, if I didn't just, there we go. Perfect. There is my quote, don't be tamed. And now I think I want to, I need to bring the photo into the page a little bit. So I'm going to take just a little bit of the blue and I need one of my tiny brushes. I'm just going to add it in a bit, get some of that blue going in here. All right, I'm going a little crazy. I wanna get this dry and I'll be right back. All right, so now I'm going to grab, I've done all the prompts. They're all complete. Now I wanna do just a little something for me. So I'm grabbing out one of my multi-ball pilot pens and I'm gonna just add some sketching, some uh, writing. But the paint is not dry yet, it's not. All right, that's not gonna work. I need something. Yep. All right guys, I gotta dry this a little more. All right guys, I'm gonna try again to add some journaling. I'm gonna try it on this side first. I just don't know what the collage, this pen is kind of, um, I know what I need to do. I need to just grab one of my Stabilo All pencils. That is kind of sharpened.
I'll be right back, guys. All right. Now, if you don't know what Stabilo All is, it's a charcoal pencil that will write over everything, but it is water soluble, so I, I leave it for last. All right, guys, there it is. The May 2019 Side Street Design Studio Challenge complete. I am happy how this page came out. It's a great memory keepsake page. Again, I used all the prompts. We have the Dina Wakely journal. I used a personal photo. I used the collage paper as my torn ephemera. I added a quote. I splattered paint on the page, used two colored and stamped images, and I ended up using two Dina Wakely stencils. So you can see how just one set of prompts, every single one of us, our page will be different. You can add more if you want. It's just a great way to blank, break a blank page. Here's just some slow close-ups because I'm not sure if the color was catching right for you guys. So you can really see. There you go. It's very neon. So guys, remember if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. I love to hear your feedback below. Um, I will put a link below to all the items I used. And I look forward to seeing you next month. And if you want to join, the link will be below to the Facebook group. Thanks guys. I'll see you soon.